Paparia Pertin, Ting, Paparia Pertin, Paparia Pertin, Ting, Paparia Pertin, Paparia Pertin, Ting, Paparia Pertin, Paparia Pertin, Ting, Paparia Pertin. Every time there's major war, major fighting on this planet, there's been a dance craze. I mean, when you look back at it, World War II, World War I, even Vietnam, every time there was major war, there was major dancing. I mean, the Roaring Twenties, just everybody freestyle dancing. And by the time the Vietnam War came, everybody was breaking loose and going for yourself and whatnot. And now, over the last 10 to 15 years, maybe 20 years, you have never seen so much dancing. There's so many dance classes, everybody wanting to learn everything from salsa to hand dancing to zydeco to just, just even performance dance, ballet and modern jazz, swing dance, jitterbug. And my feeling is that whenever people are feeling really down, really strained and need a way to, to mourn, to lift up, to even send out energy to those who are suffering, dancing is the way that we do it. I mean, we're free. When you're dancing, you actually don't feel bad. You're lifting up the energy. You're raising the vibrational energy. That sounds maybe kind of lofty, but I think it's true. I think it's true. And when people are even depressed at home and they turn on the radio and just at least start jiggling and dancing around, they feel better. It lifts the vibration. It's the same thing with singing too. Singing and dancing, they're healing tools. I call them survival arts. Now when the children dance, the ocean stops rolling. <laughs>